What's going on guys, it is Wild Shit and I'm back to another Blackburn Rovers career mode. Make sure you drop the video like guys, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss a daily episode. And uh, today we are doing a training mode special. This particular episode, if you have not experienced one of these, we usually go through a lot of admin type stuff that you won't necessarily see in a full episode. Uh, so that's what we're doing today. But make sure you check out Loot Crate and use my discount code WDSG to get yourself a little bit of 10% off. Where do you get 10% off these days? Check them out, guys. Loot Crate. But anyway, so we are doing a training mode special. We are going to be focusing on one particular player. Everyone's tired at the moment. Jason Lowe's suspended. And uh, next episode, we got quite a nice little feature going on for you. Um, we got the internationals, uh, Europa League, even I should say. We play Manchester City, which is big, which is absolutely big for us, uh, for the league contender, and also Southampton. We might play some international. Oh, they're friendly, so we won't be playing those. Um, but we might consider playing them if they are proper uh, international games. But anyway, what I'm going to show you quite quickly before we jump into the full training session episode. I'm actually going to show you the lead tier from the previous episode. Just because I can't remember if I showed it and I'm going to show you again anyway. Because we did end up beating Crystal Palace 1-0. A very close result. We're not bagging goals like we have been against Stoke and teams like that. But we're still in second place. Even though we got we lost to um, Celtic. Which I think is actually pretty good. I'm pretty chuffed at that in Europa League. Um, but anyway, right. Let's uh, move on over to the Premier League. The only problem, right, with the league, it is so, so bad, like, how slow it is until you get to this bit. It's still slow anyway. And surprise EA have not sorted this out because it's been slow for ages. We're playing Nottingham Forest in the quarterfinals. That's an easy semi-final um, placement there for us. But anyway, it's like a quick look at the Premier League. We've now moved up to second place. Um, Everton's still top of the league. They've got one hell of a side, guys. They actually do. You cannot deny how well they're actually playing as well. 23 points, 22 points, and then 21 for Manchester City. And then it goes down to two points, which is Chelsea, and then West Ham too. And then it's down to 15, 14, 13. Um, so I think we're playing really, really well at the moment. Like We have got two losses. We are... But we're not winning games as well as we used to. We're not dominating goals. So one of the things I've noticed is that we are playing okay football. But we're not dominating games like we used to. But anyway, what I'm going to do quite quickly now, I'm going to pick the training sessions for the player I'm actually going to be using. It's not Declan John, just so you know. And we're actually going to do a special training mode featuring on one particular player. Because I want him to improve, but he doesn't play that often, if I'm truthfully honest. And he only comes on a sub and he's only scored two goals for us. So hopefully... He does a little bit better and we improve him in these training sessions. But anyway, let's see who he is. Okay, so one of our brand new signings that we are training today is Moore. It's, uh, what is, he's cut, he comes on as sub and he obliterates the defense constantly. He gets chance after chance but just doesn't actually score. And I really want him to start playing so well so I can start bagging goals. But I'm very tempted to start putting him on the wing because he can play on the wing, guys. I want you to let me know in the comment section below, should I actually play him on the wing? Because I think I should. I think eventually we will start putting him on the wing just because our strikers are playing pretty well. As I say, that I get the ball to Gallagher and he completely misses that. Um, but the likes of um, Gallagher and McCartan and Abraham, like Abraham's currently... Out injured at the moment, but nevertheless, he's a very good strike. He's actually top goal scorer for us at the moment. So I can't particularly complain about him. Um, but anyway, oh, good save by the goalkeeper. But anyway, as I was saying, we want to get more trained up. We want to get him developing a bit more. And if I require us to do special training sessions on him, then so be it. And we slot that one in. Good play, lovely ball. But the thing is with Mo, he can do this um, amazing passing and long shot. So, essentially, him in a midfielder role or just basically playing on the wing, because we won't be playing 4-3-3 ever. I, I don't think we'd ever go to a 4-3-3 with this team. I just don't think our team is built for that. I honestly don't think it is. Yeah, we got more. We've got Roas as well, but the rest of the players, I don't... Oh, good save. Um, but I just don't think the rest of the players would actually suit into the team. And I don't think free in midfield would actually work, if I'm truthfully honest. Look at that left foot as well. Quality left foot. But we always seem to be playing him on the right. I've just noticed that. And he's five-star skill. So, he would absolutely tear it down the way. He, gonna, he can get, right, to the point where he just keeps getting tired. I've just noticed that. He keeps getting tired at a certain point. And it's just as he enters the box. So... 
What? Oh, <laughs> never in a million years did he just miss that. Um, what I'm thinking is that if we put him on, if we do put him on the wing, is that he will do stuff like that, basically, and he'll do that constantly. Um, and that's what I need in a winger. Yes, Marco Ross is amazing, but I'm thinking more of... I don't know what side, actually. Maybe a replacement left. Actually, yeah, I'm thinking replacement left side. Uh, replacement for Marco Ross or even... Marta, oh, B, that's not too bad. Or even... E Moore will eventually become a starting 11 player. <laughs> because look at his agility. 95, dribbling's 87, 83 ball control. Like, he sounds perfect for... A winger, and he's so fast. Five star skills. He's essentially another Marto Roas, but develops, and he's a lot, lot younger. Um, essentially, that's what that I've noticed. Good play. That, this is the first time I've ever done this so easy. Um, good start. Good start. Good, good, good. More. Oh, he saved it. Oh, we got a score. Good. Second attempt, that is an A, surely. That's a hard one as well. I've never done it that easy. So let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do we actually put more in a left wing position or left mid position? Well, obviously, we can't put him left mid, um, but you can go left wing. So I'm very, very I'm tempted to actually consider doing it. Um, see how well he d does it defending. He does. There we go. We've won it. This is just a simple one because I, I had to do it because... You only get so many set pieces, so that's kind of the thing. Uh, with this, it is basic defending, but it improves in quite a bit. So he's just getting over a 1,000. It's going to be another A for him by the looks. Um, three more attempts. Let's get one more. Good defending. Good, good, good. That's an A. Very good defending there. And we get another one. One more attempt, and happy days. Very easy, very easy drill. A there for us. I didn't want to put on a harder one because I hate doing a defending one because we have got a hard one now. This is a problem we're on about with him on the wing. Should we put him or shouldn't we? His pass is only 52 rated, so I think if we improved his um, passing and his shooting, he'd become a monster of a player. I honestly think if we try to improve his physical, I just don't think he would actually benefit whatsoever, to be honest. So that's what I think. Anyway, good play. Oh, look at this. 35 seconds of just passing the ball around. Lovely. Good. I'm concentrating right now. I've never done it this good. I haven't before. I mean, we must have a really bad defender in there, if I'm honest. It, I think it's Williams. So I've only ever done this when you're playing as like Messi and stuff. And you have like Gerard Piquet and players like that in the actual middle. So, oh, that's, this is another A. This is another A. Very well done, yeah. Oh, beautiful. It's another A. It's a bonus score. It's another A for my main man, Moore. And here we go. Vance free kick. So, it's free kicks are not good. His long shots are 67, which is not too bad for a 60 rated player. Obviously, it's not amazing. But we've never really had the chance to give him a long shot. This is a Vance free kick. So, this is with a wall and a goalkeeper. So, oh, good save. He saved it anyway. It's actually quite a decent save. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to drill this across the floor. Oh, he is absolutely terrible at free kicks. Wow. This is a... This is... We should just put basic. So he's going to get an F. This is going to be a clear, clear F right now. I don't know if they make it easier. Oh, that's quite decent. He's got quite a bit of decent curve on him. We're seeing that right now. If he's going to curve that... Oh, he didn't even lift the ball at that time. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's see if we can curve this up and over. See, it's so weird. Free kits are really difficult this year, I think. I hope they don't change them. Um, I'm just going to drill that in. Oh, it's sky high, wide, not all hands, and he really isn't good at free kits. Okay, so I'll see, just because it. We get points if we get on target anyway. So let's just see if we can just kit it on target. Oh, it's gone in. 800 points. Very, very good. Keeper didn't even catch us coming for that. Top corner. Oh, straight up goalkeeper. 125 points. And nothing really to shout about, if I'm truthfully honest. Like, what was that? Normally, that's guaranteed to go into the back. This is going high. Wow. Absolute dreadful. It is an F. No, it's a D. So, he hasn't failed. This is the result. He's not too bad. He did end up getting a B, an A, an A, and an A, and a D on free kicks. And to be honest, I thought 
that he's going to get a lot lower on free kicks in El Rondo. But I can't complain. Absolutely brilliant. So, guys, that was our training session special. We are featuring more. And that's my, like, common question of the day. Do we put more on the left-hand side? Because it would be brilliant. So, let me just sim forward. I'm going to sim forward to this Europa League game. Or EA's Euro League, as uh, they call it. We still need to great deal, which is pretty good. But we need... Well, we could beat this side, if I'm honest, with our setting team. We can only go out with our setting team, if I'm honest. I'm, I don't think we can. Oh, you feel, oh we got your squad reports. How quickly all this stuff. Um, Looking very good. Oh, we're going to sign this guy, Tyler Morgan. We're going to offer him a contract. Three years, uh, 100 and... I can't... I can only ever offer him that much. And we'll offer him a future first team player role. Um, no action, no more actions. And we've got two more players here that I'm looking to sign. Potential minimum of 74. And this player as well, centre back. I really want to get these signed straight away. I don't know when their birthdays are, so I don't know how that's going to go. But anyway, 73, 83 rate as well. He looks pretty good. Uh, Tyler Bark. Uh, oh, we got 94 potential. Let's sign this guy to our team. 75, we're going to reject him. Sorry, Davis. And we're going to uh, set this guy. 75 potential for 17 year old is actually pretty good. Um, monthly squad update. Felix, 88. I want to sign you. Um, 65, you can go. 94, you can go. 72, you can go as well. Right, who else are we missing? I don't think we're missing anyone else now. No, I think that's it. No, I think that's actually it. That's it. That's our two scouts. They've both gone out. So what I'm going to have a quick do now. I'm going to sign those 18 year olds straight to our squad. So I can get them out on loan. Get them playing. Possibly do a youth training mode special. Something down those lines. To try and get them into the team. See how well they do. So let's offer this guy a, a first team contract. He looks actually pretty good. He looks pretty good. And to be honest. What's, that, what's his? He's 6, 47 rated. So he's not brittle. But he's definitely going to be... Oh, CDM as well. These are the players that I wanted. These are the players I really need for my side. So I'm hoping... Oh, we got a goalkeeper as well. Brill. A 94 rated potential goalkeeper. Normally, I never sign him straight away to my team. I kind of always let them develop. But today, we're doing it slightly different. Tyler Morgan. Oh, we've already offered Tyler a contract, haven't we? And we got a few more players as well, yeah. But anyway, that's our youth squad development at the moment. And then what we can do, we slot those players into our third team. So if you don't know, if you've only just caught this is your first episode, we've actually got our main starting 11, which is this one. And a few slight changes with Rittenberg up front. And then we have our second team, which is a team we usually go out in uh, league uh, cup games and stuff. And then we got our youth team, which is essentially our thirds. So Rittenberg has been promoted from thirds to first because of injuries and tiredness. But then we got quite a few players who we could go... Actually, you know what? we got a few more youth players now. Like Lee. Lee's accepted his contract. So he can jump in over Gardner. So it's just a youth it's just a youth uh, team this is going to be developing. So anyway, that's coming along quite nicely. I'm looking forward to see how this youth team goes. And I really want to keep them playing. So I'm thinking possibly when we play the FA Cup and we have a really bad team, we will end up playing the youth side. So maybe that's an aim. And um, we're going to sign a few more players now. So fingers crossed. We can get them signed. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. I do want to say thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and hit, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, guys. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, Welsh and Yeshi, what's popping up throughout the video. So thanks for your support. And, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right